Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for some more State of Decay 2. So in today's video, we are going to be going over all of the character traits and like the character skills and stuff that you're going to be able to have on your character. And remember guys, in the first State of Decay, there was just over a hundred different traits that could be put onto your character randomly. In State of Decay 2, there are over a thousand different traits and skills that can be put onto your character when you find these survivors and recruit them to your base. So we're going to jump right into it. So here's kind of like your character screen at your base and you can see here that this shows the different skills on the right hand side a few different traits and then here is your breakdown of your health and stamina as well as your morale and one thing to note guys is you guys always want to try to keep your morale on the happy side otherwise it says here it represents how happy your people are and if someone becomes frustrated they may leave your community which is very very bad so like i said here's part of it you can see the different skills there we have cardio wits fighting shooting and painting for this individual and also it has the traits uh, where she took self-defense loves to dance face painter and uh imposter syndrome so these are just very very unique traits that are going to be randomly rolled onto these survivors when you find them in the open world so as you guys can see here cardio it's it improves stamina and it leads to advanced athletic skills and you can improve this skill by sprinting and climbing and then the current level there because they have four stars out of seven stars is plus 12 to max stamina so that's going to be good when you're out in the open world having to run a lot loot a lot your stamina is going to be a lot higher and it's going to drain slower and as you can see here, Wits improves the search speed and leads to advanced mental skills. So it's going to improve your search speed, which if you guys did not know, there's two different searches in this game when you loot items. You can do a fast, noisy loot, or you can do a slow, quiet loot, which is going to be a big deal when you're actually out looting and stuff. Next, you can see here we have Fighting, which is improves health and leads to advanced combat skills. And you can improve this skill by fighting hand-to-hand -hand combat. And currently with two stars, they have plus eight max health. So a lot of these traits, what they will do is when you level them up, they will give you max health. And then the higher you higher you get these, you can specialize that skill and get bonus, like bonus traits to put on those skills. Here you can see the shooting trait, which improves firearm handling and leads to advanced shooting skills. So this is the one that once you rank it up a little more, you can specialize it to do two, a couple different things. And it's completely up to you on what you want to choose. And then you see there minus 3% firearm sway and firearm recoil, which are two attributes. The more you rank that stuff up, you're going to get more of a bonus. Agriculture, as you can see here, unlocks top end garden and farm upgrades for the food production. So with that, you guys can see is, is if you get these these characters and stuff that have certain specialized traits, you're going to be able to unlock more base customization and being able to use different things in the base that you're not normally going to be able to have access to from the start. And then here you can kind of take another look at the traits of this individual where it says that they took self-defense. And then you can see that the, the dancing part of it increases the morale if you have a lounge. But then also one of the things down at the bottom, you can see that that's something that they've had in their past. And it actually says minus 50% standing rewards. So you're not going to get as many rewards and stuff when you're in there. And here is the painting skill, which I kind of thought was very unique for having this in the game. But it says conveying meaning and evoking emotion through color and, and form. So I'm not sure if there's going to be like some sort of thing in there that's going to allow you to like visually customize your base to help improve your, your, your characters and your survivors morale. But that's going to be a character trait that you're going to have if you want to do that skill. Next, you can see here, this is the, uh, I believe this is the shooting skill, and you can actually go in here and specialize this and change it over to assault or weapon handling. And you can see there that the assault significantly reduces recoil and you gain a close range kick attack. And then your weapon handling, it clears jammed firearms to improve durability. So that's another thing that honestly I did not know that was in this game. So when you're out in the open world and you get into fighting and engagements and stuff, there is a chance that your weapon can jam based on its durability. And you can see this character here has, has four skills there, backpacking, stealth striking and assault that are all specialized skills and then also a four star craftsmanship uh, skill down at the bottom so there are so many skills in this game guys like i have no i had no idea there was going to be this many so as you can see here the backpacking skill it majorly increases your carrying capacity which is going to be something i think i'm going to probably put on at least a few of my characters because you're going to want to go out in the open world and loot a lot and this is going to significantly increase your character's carrying capacity as well as the stamina and all that good stuff 
So next to here we have stealth, which is definitely going to be a big part of this game because zombies are affected by sound. In your base, out in the open world, they are 100% based on how much sound you are making. And then it says quiet interactions and reduce visibility to enemies, so you're going to be able to be more sneaky. And then you can see the current level, the 35% search speed and then energy sight range and all that good stuff. There's so many attributes and so many things you can rank up in these skills. Next we have striking and it's improved combat moves and increased knockdown for blunt weapons. So that's just one of the type of melee weapons that we're going to be having in this game. And then you can see there that there's a combo with the left bumper and the X button to shove enemies to the ground and then you're going to be able to use like your melee weapons to do god knows what to those enemies once you knock them down on the ground. Next we have Assault. So this is the other one of the weapon skills that we saw earlier and it significantly reduced recoil. But as you can see down there in the current level, there's minus 50% firearm recoil, minus 25% firearm sway, and then you can kick enemies while aiming by using the A button. So, so there's some just really cool specialized levels and stuff that you can put on these, on these traits and stuff. So next we have Craftsmanship and it unlocks the Forge and Barracks 2 and allows weapon crafting. So there, like I said, there's the Forge and the Barracks you're going to have access to in your base, but if you have someone with a high craftsmanship skill, you're going to be able to unlock the second tier of those base things. And then with the, the weapon crafting with this player, you're going to be able to probably craft different weapons and weapon attachments for those weapons. Here, this guy has resourcefulness, and this is a specialized skill to increase the carrying capacity, more effective health and stamina items. So you're going to have 35% increased search speed, plus another inventory slot, and then plus a max consumable stack. So you're going to be able to carry more stuff in your inventory as well as more consumables, which is going to be a big deal when you get out in the open world. This trait here, as you can see, is gunslaying, and it reduces the reload times, and you become a crack shot with small arms, probably like your handguns, and maybe even some of the other small weapons in the game, maybe some small submachine guns and stuff. And then there you can see the 25% minus on uh, the firearm sway and recoil, and then you can actually snap targets while aiming by pressing the A button, which I, that's something new that I did not know was in this game. So like I said, the traits in this game are absolutely insane. So next we have sharpshooting here, guys, and this is improved steadiness, bullet penetration, and limb damage. This is probably going to what you're going to want to have on your snipers, the people that have the sniper rifles and stuff. And then also minus 50% firearm sway and firearm recoil. So those are just some of the traits that are in this game, guys. Like I said, the original State of Decay only had, I think, just over 100 traits that you could randomly put on these characters. In State of Decay 2, there's over a thousand different traits that you're going to be able to level, specialize those skills, and all sorts of really cool things. So like I said, guys, this is just scratching the surface of how these skills and the, and the traits and stuff is going to work. And I actually seen a couple people talking about this in my comment section, but they're a little worried with just the amount of all this stuff that's in the game. It may be just a little bit overwhelming, but honestly, guys, this is just going to increase the replay value of this game and being able to... You know, you're going to find survivors out in the open world and you're going to want to get a specific, I guess you could say a specific build of characters to basically run your base as efficiently as possible. And I think that's going to be one heck of a grind and it's going to be really, really fun to rank up those characters, you know, kind of specialize those skills to basically meet the needs of your base and exactly how you do it with your playstyle in State of Decay 2. So I'm really looking forward to grinding, you know, the different characters, you know, and kind of maxing out the effectiveness of the characters and survivors that are going to be in my base with all of these crazy skills and super in-depth skills and traits and stuff that's in State of Decay 2. But that is pretty much all for the video, guys. Just wanted to kind of let you guys in on some of the crazy skills that we're going to be getting in State of decay 2 and like i said there is over a thousand different skills and traits that we're going to be able to have on these characters in state of decay 2 but that's all for the video guys if you guys enjoyed it you guys are excited about all the cool traits and stuff that are coming to the characters in state of decay 2 make sure to slap that like button also if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all things state of decay 2 i'm going to be covering this game you know really in depth and i think you guys are going to enjoy the content that i bring into the channel so make sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys do not miss any of the content but uh, that's all for now guys thank you all so much for watching and i will catch you guys later peace out